Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get a custom theme and most of the good themes will be on DeviantArt. I mean you can use other themes from other websites but I recommend just using the themes on DeviantArt because they're probably the best ones or at least in my opinion. Now before you uh, download the theme files you're going to need to um, get the universal theme patcher and I have put the link in the video description so go download that and then extract the folder and open up the 64 bit version which is this one if you have a 64 bit computer or the uh, if you have a 32 bit computer then you open up this one now um, basically what you're doing is once you open it you just press patch and then it'll have a window that pops up you just click yes and you do that for all three of these and once you're done with that it'll ask you to restart your computer so do that and come back to the video okay once you have restarted your computer you're going to download the um, take ownership registry hack so you might have it in your theme file depending or I mean in your theme folder if depending on what kind of theme you got or if the the creator put it inside but just in you uh, instead of having to you know download a random theme just uh, go into the link and download the take ownership file it'll probably be in a zip just extract it and then uh, double click on install take ownership dot reg and plus press yes okay and what this allows you to do is when you right click on like a DLL file or some kind of file where you can take ownership of it you will see take ownership in the menu and you'll need this later when we're replacing files now once you've done that you want to uh, go to DeviantArt and this is the link for the Windows 7 themes so once you're there you won't see all the themes you have to click go in the menu click on more and click on popular all time and you'll see the really nice themes here for this example I'm going to use placebo for Windows 7 because I feel like changing my uh, theme to this so once you once you're um, at the theme page you just can scroll down and on the right you should see the download file and so you just click on that and you probably have to extract the folder and I already did that once you've extracted it this is where you're going to replace some files so if you have a theme like placebo where you there's like a mult like a couple different I guess sub themes that you could use then there's there might be explorer or explorer frame dot dll file for every single sub theme and there might be other files that you may have to replace so let me show you how to do that so if you go to the theme folder it should say something like system files or explore frame or like shell 32.dl or something like that about system files but if you can't find it just go through each folder and you'll eventually find one now you go to start computer go to your C drive go to windows and if you need to replace your explorer.exe then you don't need to take ownership of it so all you do is just uh, you know rename it and then you just put you know like change it to explorer.exe dot or explorer.exe old or something like that and uh, it might ask you something like this just press yes but I'll show you you know it's not gonna make the change until you restart your computer uh, now to replace DLL files you're going to go to uh, C Windows System 32 for my theme I have to uh, replace Explorer frame 
dot dll and this is how I, this is probably an older theme that I used or something like that that's why it's a different name but basically you do the same thing you would rename it to whatever that you're you know you're trying to rename it to like maybe uh, explore frame dot dll old and this basically just allows you to you know differentiate or when you want to go back to the original windows theme you don't have to you know try to find it online because it's probably not a good idea to find it online because it's a very important system file so just make sure you have it and you know just keep it there so once you rename it you would uh uh, go to the theme folder and just find the system file ba remember it's definitely going to be there's going to be a difference between the 64 bit and the 32 bit file so make sure you use the correct one based on your computer you can usually find out by going to start right clicking on computer and going to properties and under system type you should see it so once you have um, f found the file just copy it and paste it into the folder and I don't want to uh, change my theme because I want to keep this theme so I'm not going to change it and do this for each file or system file that you need to change once you're done with that you're going to go to uh, C Windows resources themes and then um, you find your theme files and um, just go through the folders and what you're looking for is usually a folder and then a dot theme file or something that where the icon looks like like this so let me change it all right so let's say I want to use the sub theme a n g s t or angst or however you say it I would select uh, the theme file and then the folder associated with it now if you're wondering what left and top means it's basically where the start taskbar or start bar is positioned so left means the start bar would be positioned right here and the top would mean it's right here so if your uh, start bar is on the left or top or wherever it is there might be a different system or theme file for you if not that's all good because you won't really notice a difference anyways what you do is you would copy the folder and the theme file and paste it into your uh, theme folder once you do that you just restart your computer you go to personalize and remember restart your computer so your system can uh, use the new system files for the theme or it won't work so first restart your computer then you go to personalize and then you scroll down and then you just select your theme and it should work so you know good luck and if you have any questions just comment below not sure if I'll get to it because I don't like the new inbox system but anyways someone might answer your question and thanks for watching